Hello my friends, this is Cardinal Christie, and I'm here to show you how to view your absence and leave balances as we near the end of the leave year. I can't believe it is already coming up on a new year. No time to waste, so let's jump right in. So here we are at the Cardinal homepage. There are two pages that I'm going to focus on with you, and they are both accessed from the time tile. Let's go ahead and click the time tile. By default, your timesheet will display, but we are going to use the menu on the left-hand side of the page. First, let's look at the Comprehensive Absent Summary page by clicking the Comprehensive Absent Summary menu list item. The View Comprehensive Absent Summary page displays. There are some key things I want to highlight for you here. The first is the Vacation Accrual Rate field. This is the number of vacation hours you earned for each pay period. There are a few things I want to call out for you in this next section of the page. Before I do, it is very important that you review all of your information. Click that View All link. Now we are seeing the information for all of the applicable leave types with activity during the leave year. These values reflect hours of the last finalized leave period associated with the last pay date. This table is used to review the balances that were carried forward from the last leave year, along with the year-to-date hours earned, taken, adjusted, and donated for each applicable leave type. All of these factor into your current balances. Please remember, that these current balances are as of the last finalized leave period associated with the last pay date. The current balances do not include any absences in a saved status, absences that haven't been approved by your supervisor, or absences that haven't processed yet. As you approach the end of a leave year, you should be coming to this page specifically to review your vacation maximum allowable hours to make sure that you take your vacation and don't forfeit hours at leave year end. Although they are not directly related to the leave year end, if you want to review your leave types that expire based on the date the leave was earned, you can review the expiring leave type section. You can also review your current absence balances as of the last finalized leave period associated with the last pay date on the Absence Balances page. Let's go take a look at that page. Click the Absence Balances menu list item. The Absence Balances page displays. The balances you see on this page are consistent with what you will see on your timesheet. Don't forget to use a small scroll bar immediately to the right of the balances to view all of the information. Now let's talk about my favorite part of this page and it is easy to miss if you don't know it is there. First, click the main scroll bar to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Now we need to click the expand icon for the forecast balance section and then scroll down on the page again. Once you expand this section, you can forecast and see how many hours you are projected to have as of a certain date, or what your balance was on a date in the past for any absence type. This is a great tool and will help you plan your time off. Simply select the applicable as of date and then select the absence type you want to forecast. Since we are approaching the end of the leave year, you can forecast your vacation balance to see how many hours you are projected to have as of January 9th, 2024. This will include future accruals and future dated absences. Click the Forecast Balance button. Once the system calculates, the Forecast Details page will display in a pop-up window, and you can review the forecasted balance information for the selected absence type. Be sure to compare this forecasted balance against the maximum carryover allowed so that you don't forfeit any hours. And that is it. We went through how you can review your leave and absence information. You can use these pages to make sure you don't lose any hours as we move into the new year. If you still have questions, 
please reach out to your supervisor, a time and labor administrator, or an absence management administrator at your agency for assistance. Thank you for spending a few minutes to review this information with me. This is Cardinal Christie saying goodbye for now.